Hello and welcome back to your new home! So the other day I found this clip from this home renovation show that caught my eye. We're just gonna jump right into it. To provide a little context for what's happening, this is the part of the show where they, they show them their new room and they're, they're supposed to get the <gasps> wow. reaction out of them. I think it looks horrendous, it doesn't look anything like a bedroom. Yeah, except that's not what happened. <laughs> now, there's a good reason for this, and I'll get into it later. I want to break down this clip first. So they walk into the room, and right away, you can tell that they hate it. I mean, just, just look at their faces. So the host of the show asks the girl, Rachel, what she thinks of it first. What do you think, Rachel? Well, you've got your color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I like the wardrobes and... But then the husband pipes up, and he is super open and honest with what he thinks. No, it's too much. For me, it's too busy. I wouldn't have done anything like it, and I don't like it. I'm supposed to be able to go to sleep in a bedroom, and it's like a kid's play area. To which the host replies... I think Rachel likes it, though, John. I know oh. you're telling her she doesn't, but I think no, she I, does. No, I'll, I'll leave it to her. Rachel's but you're like, answering for her. I yeah, mean, but... I haven't heard much out of Rachel's mouth, actually. Come on, Rachel. Well, and so if Rachel likes it, can you keep it the same? Not for long. So, so you were going to accept what Rachel wanted, and you said, if she's happy, that's fine. So what you're actually saying now is it isn't fine. Drunk. Horrible. Oh, I think she's got to be heard. <sighs> nah, sorry. It's not for me. Okay, 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 okay. Obviously, she's trying to do damage control, but her version of damage control is to attack the husband? Oh, no. Oh, no, they don't like it. Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? What do I, uh, 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 you seem really controlling and I bet you have a shoddy marriage. Dude, I mean like, come on, look at this room. There's arrows above the bed pointing to it. Why are those there? Was it, was it just in case you forgot what the purpose of the room was? Or maybe you just forgot where you're supposed to sleep. Thanks arrows, I was gonna sleep in the closet. Nothing in this room matches. Look, the walls are yellow, that nightstand right there is green, the cupboard is blue, and there's salmon colored pillows on the bed who who thought this was a good idea so naturally i decided to watch a full episode of one of these so i could get more context as to what was happening the show is called your house in their hands and it first started airing september 25th 2014 it only has one season with six episodes the point of the show is to have this lady her name is celia sawyer who by the way designs rooms for the rich and famous. Her words, not mine. Now I design for the rich and famous, high-end clients who can spend millions on their homes. She finds these amateur designers, gives them $4,000 or something, takes them to these unsuspecting homeowners' houses, and lets them go buck wild. It's just, it's a recipe for disaster. So let's just jump right into an episode, shall we? Would you hand over your front door keys to complete strangers in exchange for a massive makeover? I'm not sure I would. So right away, you'll notice that even the host of the show doesn't think this is a good idea. So why are they doing it? My working theory is that the host of the show likes to laugh at all the pitfalls that the amateurs make. Like, oh, you're so cute. You think that's a good idea. Becoming a professional interior designer is not a walk in the park. In fact, it's tough. <laughs> this water bottle isn't soft. In fact, it's hard. A professional interior designer will always remember these things. You listen to your client, you plan ahead, you don't go over budget, and you communicate. This may seem like common sense, but to these interior designers, it's not. In fact, it's whatever the opposite of common sense is. So we're first introduced to the Marshalls. They agreed to be on this show for some reason. The only thing you need to know is that the husband, Dave, likes light and airy things, but he doesn't want his room to look like it's a hotel room. So let's meet the amateur designers. By the time I finish with your house, it will look like the chicest of hotels. Okay, so we're not off to a good start. All right, I'm gonna paint this wall black. <laughs> I swear, there's no way they didn't do this on purpose. Like, they literally, they, they sat them down and they were like, he doesn't like dark things. Dave doesn't like dark colors because it okay. reminds him of being in the Navy. And then not even like a minute later, she's like, so we're gonna paint this room black. So fast forward a bit, we meet the Baileys. The husband, Steve, is a mechanic and he actually designs these really cool things like these storage units underneath the stairs. So he wants more storage and his wife 
wants more femininity. Okay, so before we meet the designers of the family, the host says something completely just mind-boggling, and I have to talk about it. If I walk into someone's home and I see a complete mess, I think, oh my goodness, what is your life like? How do you two get on? Obviously, you're not communicating very well. Something's gone very really wrong there, and I don't feel relaxed in a mess, so I don't know how anyone else can. And I don't feel relaxed listening to music, so I don't know how anyone else can. And I don't feel sexually attracted to women, so I don't know how anyone else can. And I don't understand metaphysics, so I don't know how anyone else can. And I don't like feeling joy, so I don't know how anyone else can. Bro, people's standards of living are different. Some people, they feel relaxed in a mess. I, I know that's hard for this woman to believe, but it's true. That's just, sometimes that's just how they were raised, and they're okay with it. Who are you to sit there and tell someone that how they're living is wrong? Like, how how pretentious do you have to be to be like, Your standards of living aren't at the same level as mine, so I'm gonna need you to change. I personally was raised to be clean, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go into someone else's house and be like, This house isn't up to my standards of living. You need to change. And even before you say, Uh, Jeremy, what about those people on TLC who have stuff up to their roofs and are living in their own poop? And to that I say, that's just the stuff you see on TLC, okay? That's not everyday normal people. If your living conditions become hazardous to your health and or dangerous to those living around you or yourself, then you need to change. But if there is a pile of dirty laundry on your couch, you're a normal person. I'm sorry, that just really irked me. <laughs> on with the show, let's meet the designers. Hi, I'm Rowan. I'm gonna radically transform your home. And with that, I'm gonna radically change you and your relationship as well. Could you imagine if you thought by painting someone's wall you would change the relationship? My style is deep funk. That stands for fun, funky, and deep. <laughs> deep funk stands for fun, funky, and deep. If it was my home, I would be worried. Where do they find these people? I am absolutely obsessed with the 1950s. Pastels, florals, atomic shapes, I love it all. Why would you want to live in a house which isn't completely covered in all of this kitsch? Because people are sane? Could you, okay, could you imagine being an interior designer and only being able to design one way? That's like, that's kind of like if a doctor was only able to do kidney transplants because kidneys are objectively the best organ. Except that, that analogy kind of fails because doctors are essential and surgeries are essential, but redesigning your house isn't. But still. We're gonna go wild here, right? We're gonna put up uh, living walls, we're gonna cover this place with, with, with plants. We're gonna cover the place with, with, with mirrors. A wild wall with plants? There's playfully provocative and there's just plain provocative. Okay, so first of all, plants aren't provocative. Second of all, who is letting him do this? I mean, I guess, I guess kind of technically the homeowners are letting him do this because they agreed to give their keys over for the point of the show, but like, I know, I really do think that, that they were under the impression that these designers had somewhat of a competent ability to like redesign their home. And I'll be really surprised if we can come to some kind of agreement where this room is going to look really nice for, for Dave and Sarah, and that's all I'm concerned about. Then why are you painting it black? What's the worst thing that you wouldn't want Dark to see? And dingy. Dark and dingy, definitely. Would hate it. So I think black is a very, very misunderstood colour. When you say to somebody that you're going to paint their wall black, they just say, oh my goodness, that's just going to be so disgusting and depressing. That's, that's because, that's because it is. And that's because it will be. It it doesn't it doesn't matter if you think that black is gonna look good. It it doesn't matter what you think. It matters what the homeowners think, and the homeowners don't want black. So why are you painting it black? Rowan's radical idea is to carpet the hallway and stairs with green astroturf. Yes, I did say astroturf. So the whole floor is gonna be this artificial grass, is it? That's correct. Into the toilet area? Into including into the toilet area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it in his voice. He's questioning his sanity. <laughs> He's like, into the toilet area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Also, also, yeah, astroturf. Let me let me just think of all the situations where I'd want astroturf in my house really quick. If I had a mini golf course. 
I've been going back and forth with the colours and I've just decided I'm going to commit with the pink. <laughs> but it's happening now. So we heard you wanted some femininity in your room. So we put some femininity on top of our femininity. So what we're going to do is put a hole in this wall and put a mini aquarium in here. A fish tank looking into the toilet from the hallway. Yeah. That's okay, interesting. Yeah, but different. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, he thinks he's insane now. <laughs> Which, as he should, this guy, it has to be a troll, right? I, I wouldn't be surprised at all to hear that this is just a normal average dude. And he's just, he pretended to be slightly off to get on this show. And now he's just completely trolling. And, and you know what is, is even crazier is that they're letting him do this. Who approved of this show? Okay, so let's fast forward back to the Marshall's house. Their rooms are done and they're going to take their first look. It's lovely. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, that is... Wow. It, um, uh, wow. I can't believe how nice it is. It is. It's, that's absolutely tremendous. Oh, this. Wow. They like it. What about the second room? Oh. Wow, what oh. do you think? It's really... I think I like it. <laughs> she's doing that thing where she's like trying to convince herself that she likes it. She's like, oh, I think I like it. My initial thoughts is I don't like it. I don't like furniture. I don't, I hate that. You don't like that? No, I don't like the black wall. And you know, obviously he hates it because he doesn't like dark colors. And you knew that going in. So I don't, I still understand why she painted it black. Sarah. You said you quite liked it. Oh no. Oh no, she's doing it again. She's ignoring what the husband thinks and just focusing on what the, the wife thinks. Is she gonna start poking holes in their marriage? Unfortunately, Dave hated this room. You take a risk, they like one out of two, at least it's 50%. What? <laughs> you know, one out of two, it's 50%, That that's an F grade. You know, at least we failed, right? Is that what you were going for? <laughs> I'm just really upset, I'm so angry. It's the wreck that room. I know. I mean, the bare wall, the horrible furniture. You know, I'm just, I'm so angry. I don't think I've ever been this angry before. She completely destroyed the room and I'm just so furious. I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm about to punch this wall. I am so beyond mad. Okay, let's see what the Baileys think of their two rooms. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Isn't it? I wasn't expecting this at all. Steve? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so they hate it. Who wouldn't? <laughs> okay, but what, what about the other room? <laughs> oh, no, they got the pictures of the kiddies on the wall. Where's all the clothes going to go? So, June, do you think, you know, this is what you were looking for? You wanted something more feminine? I don't dislike it. Ah, uh, yes. That's exactly what I would want to hear if I'd redid someone's room. I know much, how much time and effort Stephen's put into, into the house, and now I feel I've taken it away from him. I feel I've let him down. No, you haven't, Pat. You haven't. Oh, this show sucks! Uh, beauty, uh, like opinion, is in the eye of the beholder. I was on the planet of playfully provoking myself, and where was I? I was having fun. You're right. I have no regrets. Uh, if I had the same experience again, knowing what I knew then, uh, I would do the same thing. Then you are a terrible interior designer. Uh, yeah, I failed on just about every basic level I could. But you know what, in a heartbeat, I'd do it again, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so now they have to design a room together. I'll save you the sob story. With the Marshalls, Holly is the one that took over and did everything. And Holly's the one of the rooms that they did like. It's not 50-50 anymore. I'd say it was more 70-30. The dining room at the moment is, I would say, about 97% Holly's design and 3% my designs. 
98% is actually Holly's decision. And you know, it works out great because they end up loving their room. Wow, oh my God. This is incredible. It is, oh, yeah, wow. this, is, this is, wow. But I have to say, the, the host is so condescending towards Holly, it's... Who chose the table? I chose the table. And who chose the chairs? I chose the chairs. And who chose the lights? I chose the lights. And just explain to me the, the feature fireplace, yeah. the logs, who came up with that idea? I did. And so this little area is yours, it's kind of, and this yes. is yours. <laughs> Sarah's been great to work with. We've not had any disputes or fallouts yet, have we? Yeah. Well, that's probably because yeah. you've done what you wanted. To be fair, isn't it? Ah, uh, it drives me crazy. Anyway, uh, probably wondering what happens with the Baileys, though. <laughs> okay, so the chains are symbolic of um, the intention to put a swing. Okay, so these chains are symbolic. They represent good and evil in the form of a swing, where one side pulls down on you and the other side pulls up in the form of electrical energy. The pulling down, of course, represents hell, and the pulling up, naturally, would represent my Zen garden. It literally creates its own biosphere. Yeah. And it has its own weather system, effectively. So do you think they're going to like it? I have no idea. You can tell that's not important to him. I don't think it ever was. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign. Like the bar? Yeah, we're in need of that this week. Seeing as though we've never been out the pub, trying to drown our misery. I like the floor, actually. I like the floor, I don't like the way it's done. Just because they can't be bothered to lift the skirting board up. Dude, he's... Pissed. On reflection, I don't think that I went too far with this room. And I'm not coming from a space of arrogance. I'm coming from a space of knowing that I did what I sensed was the right thing to do. That's literally arrogance. Having or revealed an exaggerated sense of one's own importance or abilities. That's you, dude. And to have people coming into our home and, and doing what they've done has been extremely difficult for Stephen. On a personal level, it's been very good for me. And both me and June, I never thought I'd say it, but we're even stronger. Yeah, so that's it. That's the whole episode. That's the whole show, really. That clip at the beginning is making a lot more sense now, isn't it? If I had to say anything else, I would say that there's a reason that there's only one season of this show. Mm -hmm.